So, some more awesome and amazing things have happened. Um, I feel like the past two videos that I made were just phenomenal things where you just couldn't deny God was at work. But <laughs> I just feel like this puts both of those stories just to shame. And I just encourage you, <laughs> listen closely because there's so many awesome things that God did in the story that we're about to share with you and how he's worked. And it's just been phenomenal to be part of. Um, he's brought so many of us to tears and so many of us he's just brought in awe. So Lindsay's gonna tell a story here about how we've got the house that we're about to move into now. A house that we're able to stay in as long as we want. Um, and she's gonna try to remember all the crazy all the things details. that have happened, so. Yeah, so Friday evening, um, we were looking on Craigslist. We look on Craigslist all the time for houses and we found this house and it was bigger than most of the houses you can find in the price range that we we're looking for. And we're like, we got to call this place and which is good because a lot of the homeowners here aren't even open to calls. You have to communicate through email, which takes time. And usually by the time you're done communicating, they've already gotten rid of the house. So she texted and she's like, why don't you call me if you have questions? And we're like, great. So we called and um, you know, she, she said, I'll be honest with you, there's already an older couple that is interested in renting our house, and it's a one-story house, so they can bring their elderly mother to live with them, and it's just perfect for these people. They're really, they're the kind of renters we're looking for. But if you want to see it, we'll give you the chance. And I said, you know what, we still want to see it. I, I really do think it might be what we're looking for. And she's like, do you have any pets? And we said, yes, we have a dog. She said, is it an indoor dog? And I said, yeah. She's like, I'm really sorry. We just can't accept indoor dogs. That's, that's our policy. If they were outside, that'd be fine, but we can't take an indoor dog. And I said, well, I, I guess then it was a pleasure talking to you and I hope everything works out for you. And you know, I just, I guess that's where we'll end it. And through our conversation, she really enjoyed talking to me and she said you know she found out that simon was a pastor and that really appealed to her and she's like wow you know you're the second pastor that we've talked to about this what a coincidence but like i said we ended the conversation we thought we were done and the next morning we get a call from dj and rebecca they were talking about some things and and one of the things they said was you know we still it would be nice to find a place for sunny hey do you think your mom would take her Lindsay?" and i was like you know, she just might. So I was like, let me call her. So I called my mom and she said she'd pray about it and think about it. She didn't give me a yes or no, but she just thought she'd pray about it. And knowing that this was a possibility that we wouldn't have a dog, Simon's like, you really need to call that lady back. And I call and she says, how funny. The spirit basically told me, don't pull the credit on this elderly, on this older couple and their mom, wait. And she's like then you called she's like so why don't you come out I still don't know if you're gonna love the house but why don't you come out and look through the windows and at least just kind of take a peek at it and then 10 minutes go by and she's like you know what I'll meet you there I'll personally show you the house yeah she called back right like she called us back and we're like okay let's go so we head over to the house and it's great like by standards here it's a beautiful home they've kept it up really well it has so much space for the kind of ministry we want to do here we'd have so many opportunities to like host people to have like church in our home and um, it was the first place we've seen that we actually had a vision for that we looked at each other and were like I could see us doing things here and we're like oh man this is so great only thing is sunny you know she's like you know I really like you guys I will put you ahead of these older people if everything checks out and if the dog's not coming so we talked to DJ and Rebecca they get in touch with her because the answer is we didn't have an answer from my mom we didn't know for sure if she'd take sunny and we wouldn't we weren't gonna know for at least another week if not more so we're like yeah we'll see and dj calls the landlord and she was just really adamant no the dog can't come and i really need to know by tomorrow if you guys want to rent the place so as in today and we couldn't give her an answer. So we just, we wrote her back and we said, you know what, we really appreciate your kindness. I'm thankful you were listening to God, but I just don't know if this is gonna work out for us. And we go to bed last night and we're disappointed because it's a great place. And it's really hard to tell your friends, you can't take your dog because that's not nice. <laughs> but it's really hard to find housing here. And it was just, 
frustrating and difficult, but we knew if this was God that, you know what, maybe it was just an opportunity to see if that lady would be faithful, if it was an opportunity for us to do something. We didn't know, but we get a text message this morning and she says, I have good news, call me right away. So we call before church and she says, I was talking with my husband last night and he's the one who didn't want an inside dog, really. And he said, we have to change the rule. We have to rent to these people because they're working for the Lord. We need to do this. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, do you remember I said she's, she had another pastor look at the house? Well, that family would have been perfect for their house, but they had a dog as well. So out of all fairness, which I firmly believe in, she said, I needed to call that pastor first. That pastor was the family that we met weeks ago when we were looking for the car that we told you about. The family that we ended up praying with, we didn't buy the car, but they became our friends and they're here as missionaries as well. And it was them. And we knew they had a dog waiting in quarantine here and that they needed a place to stay. And so she called them first and they were delighted. They, would, they were so happy that this opportunity had come up. But then they found out that we were looking too and they prayed and they just knew that this is where God wanted us to be. It wasn't for them, it was meant for us. So they told her, no thank you, please move on to Simon and Lindsay. And that's when she gave us a call and we could tell DJ and Rebecca and like they were crying and speechless and we've just been blown away by the whole experience. And today up here on this mountain, we're on a hike with that other pastor, his name is Greg and just sharing our stories about how God is moving and how he provides for all of our needs. And we hope we can be there for them the way they've been there for us in meeting whatever needs they have as they look for a place to. And the crazy thing about all of it is, is like the only reason this happened is because God just put it all together. Like we met this pastor and we got to share with him our vision for Hawaii and because of that, God was just moving his heart and saying, this place is the place for them. And the only way he knew that is because we got to meet him, because we got to share our passion with him. And and they knew about this house long before us. Weeks ago. Weeks and weeks ago. And they were praying in, in the driveway in the front of this house for the whoever would end up having this house. And little did we know, like, this whole time, like, people that we know and people that we don't know have been praying for us and the Spirit's working and, like, these people that were so insistent on there's no way a dog's going to be in their house. Like, the gods just tell them, do not rent to these other people. I have a different plan. And and to be part of that plan is extremely humbling. <laughs> and we're just blown away at all the amazing things God's doing. So, anyways, it was cool to hear his side of the story, which made everything more complicated and more yeah. like wow god is doing so many crazy things and making so many things work and we actually thought it'd be a really cool thing to shoot a video at the top of this hike because the cool thing is is it's an amazing view um but honestly the road to our house is by that river down there and if you take that road all the way up and around this cliff here you can actually see the community and the house that we are going to be living in starting next week down there. It backs right up to this. So it's just so cool to be able to share something like that with you guys that God is moving, God is at work, and it's and it's like it's just something that just makes us speechless. So hopefully this story inspires you guys. Maybe it lets you guys gives you a little more faith, lets you know that like God does work in amazing ways and he yeah. can work in amazing ways in your life too. Um, if you put that kind of faith in him. So thanks for watching our videos and hopefully we will uh, have more awesome stories like this to tell you and even more amazing stories like this. So we love you and we love you support. Thanks.